morning. It is Friday. It is our last day of spring break and the sun finally came out. It has literally been raining all four days of spring break. Just cold and rainy. Lots of time inside. So I kind of took yesterday to reset the house, reset myself. There was just, you know, toys everywhere, laundry, just reset everything made some fresh bread like got myself like a really good shower last night so feeling refreshed and we actually started off this morning kind of crazy there was an earthquake this morning and we are in new jersey and so we really never get earthquakes and it definitely took us all by surprise it was about a 4.8 i think 4.7 4.8 so, I mean, no damage or anything, but definitely shook us up like, what is happening? Good opportunity though to have some conversations with the kids about earthquakes and what they are and, you know, some biblical references to earthquakes in the past and in the future. So, we had breakfast, we got that semi-cleaned up, and we're gonna actually go out now to Walmart. I have to get shin guards for my daughter because she is starting soccer tomorrow. I was able to order cleats on Amazon, but for whatever reason, I couldn't find a good set of shin guards that I thought would fit her. And I'm actually not positive what size she even needs, so I thought it'd be better just to try to find that in person and get her some socks and maybe some shorts. She is over the moon excited <laughs> about starting soccer, so she just, you know, wants all the things. And then I think we might run to the library because I have some books available to be picked up and the kids want to get some books, so we'll do that. And just kind of enjoy some time out <laughs> when we've been home a lot. So we're gonna do that today. And we have an exciting weekend. We have two fun things going on, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing you guys along for that. But today is Friday. We have friends that are hosting dinner tonight, so I don't even have to make dinner. It's just, you know, a nice way to end out this week of spring break. So we're gonna go head out to the store. I was really hoping to be able to return this book today. I still haven't finished it. It is a bit of a slog for me, to be honest. I'm not that into it, but I don't know. I have this weird thing about I hate not finishing certain books. Like, it's good enough that I need to just finish it. I need to know what happened. So I actually have the audiobook of it on my Libby app, so maybe finish it out that way throughout the day today or something, and then I can return it. So I just made a fresh loaf of bread yesterday. I'm going to slice that up and make just some peanut butter jellies to take with us. It's probably going to be out past lunchtime, so might as well make them. And it's funny, I ordered peanuts in a grocery order I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I ordered three bottles of peanuts because I like to make my own peanut butter, and they gave me three jars of peanut butter. So I've been using that, but normally I make my own. It's very, very easy. So I'm just gonna make these, pack them up, and go head out. All right, I want you to try, oh, can we try them on? Or just hold it up to your leg at least. No, I'm we'll, gonna try it on. You're gonna try it on? They might be put- I'm to, no, on You can maybe on Velcro it, just make sure it fits. So you want that part to cover your ankle, and this part wraps around. Yeah, that should be good. All right, shin guards, soccer balls, bacon, laundry detergent, and some shorts. I think she's gonna get those. I'm the soccer ball. You want your soccer ball? Yeah. Okay, so we just got to the library and there were hardly any cars in the parking lot, which should have been my first tip off. I definitely noticed it. Sure enough, we went up to the door and they are closed for earthquake inspections. Damage. Inspecting earthquake damage? Is that what it said? Yeah. So we're gonna, maybe I should call. We were gonna maybe go to a different branch, but maybe we should call and see if that one's even open. So we just popped in a new audiobook and then we'll go drive over there. So this is the farm stand where we get our coffee and it's all freshly stocked and then it's pretty cool you can just Venmo and pay for it. All right, we're back home now. 
we did manage to find a library where we could get a few books. I actually picked up two just completely at random. One is an author that I've read before and the other one is just random. It just sounded good. But it's quiet time now. I got Jude down. Kids are gonna play outside for a little bit. It's windy, but the sun is shining, so they're gonna take advantage take advantage of it. They just tried on all of their soccer gear and they're gonna go play with, we got a couple soccer balls, so they're gonna play with those outside, run the dog around, you know, do all that. I'm just warming up a little lunch for myself right now. And we have to make a dessert to bring tonight. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna make. I don't know, I might just do like a cookie bar or something just cause it's so easy. One pan, very simple. Bars. But we're all out of chocolate chips really, so I'm gonna have to do a mix of chocolate, butterscotch, and white chocolate. five I just cleaned the floors got the table cleared off cleared off the island washed some dishes the cookie bars are done they look really good the Sun has been going in and out all afternoon it was so dark when I was mopping and then the Sun just came out so I have one load of laundry in the dryer that I'm gonna bring up and fold and yeah, it's like 5 30 did I say that Dan should be home soon ish and then we're gonna go head out and have dinner at a friend's house. You ready? <laughs> so these are the two books that I got at the library. I've read a book from Sally Hepworth, at least one, maybe two. This is a new one called The Soulmate. I just read the flap and it sounded kind of interesting. So we'll see how that goes. Then I took this one, it was on the new release shelf. Allison Brennan, no, I've never read anything you. by her. No, just you. Um, just you. Don't open the door is what it's called. It says a family torn yeah. apart, a botched investigation. She'll stop at nothing to get answers. So we'll see, we'll see how they go. So all afternoon I've been listening to the audiobook and it's 95% done. I still have 45 minutes, oh my goodness. It's like basically un unfolding the, the final reveal and yet, I don't know, there's 45 minutes left. So I'm hoping to finish that today. All right. Finished the book. It was not that good. It was kind of a, a lame ending. I guess the thing with this author, I've read two of her books so far, Sophie Hanna, is that she likes to include a lot of characters with a lot of different backstories and then somehow intertwine them all. So 
it's a lot to keep track of who's who and whose story, you know, plays into the ending. And the detective that figures them out likes to give these long-winded explanations of how he figured out what he figured out. So it kind of just, like, spills it out for you. I don't know. It wasn't worth it. Pass on that one if you were interested. But now I have two more on my bedside table that I can get to. So it's about 6.30. We're going to head out to dinner and bring my cookie bars and have a good Friday night. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care.